All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna give Greater Rift 62 a shot today. Uh, at the end, I'll show my gear, and uh, yeah, this is uh, Del Sears. I think that's how you say it. Magnum Opus build, the Arcane Orb. I did a level 61 earlier. Um, didn't quite have my recording stuff set up right, so I didn't really get a good video of it. It's mob density's crap, and of course I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. So that's a good start. Just teleport and come off cooldown. be nice to find some elites and I teleport into the wall again. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go. Alright, can we find some elites? Some blues. Some blues or some yellows. Yes, of Johan on my follower there, going in the enemies. There we go. I'm gonna get frozen here. It's okay. I'm not very good with my rotation. Definitely don't do it exactly right. I guess I picked up those four. No, no, they're up there. Didn't see them. That's dumb. Alright. See, as you can see, if you kill an elite, things go pretty fast. And that clock goes up pretty nice, but there's no elites here. I call them elites, but, you know, whatever. Ah, there's some condo pile on. Okay. Sure. Come here, please. Alright, maybe we'll have better luck on the second floor. Oh, good. There we go. Teleport right in the middle of them. Get my armor buff going for my potion. Ooh. Alright. Got a little low there, but no big deal. Probably use my potion a little early. I'm still kind of feeling out how much my toughness, uh, how my toughness is on these greater rifts. The gear isn't near as optimal. I don't really have a lot of legend. I don't have a lot of ancient pieces. I don't have a lot of even regular pieces of gear that are rolled with fantastic stats. Ranged enemies are kind of annoying. They don't really run to you. So I thought that was going to be a dead end over here, but I guess it's not. Ah, I did not know that would be a bridge. I'm an idiot. So arcane beams can hurt sometimes, but looks like I'm doing okay with it. Getting to use arcane expl or explosive blast on cooldown. There we go. Pick up the little orbs, and we'll move on. Go this way. Um. Ah. Go figure that <laughs> I went the other way instead of the right way. It's all right. This guy was up here the whole time. Teleport. 
toughness buff up. Alright, I just died. And I'm going to probably die again. So I'm gonna back up. Oh, some health clips. So, something is. I wonder what's frozen, nightmarish, illusionist, molten. You know what it probably is? It's probably a combination of the molten with the uh, frozen sitting on top of it. I'm just not used to getting hit for that much. Using my potion at the wrong time. Oh, there was a channeling pylon up there that would have been useful to have, but that's alright. I can tell, like, my awareness isn't always that great. I kind of get tunnel vision. Yeah, let's just teleport out of here. Ah, good. Get my safeguard buff up. Good, very good. Alright, next area, let's go. Ah, this shouldn't be too bad. Usually these narrow corridors are decent for stuff. Just depends on what kind of enemies you get. It's a little narrow, so it's easier to get them all clumped up and bundled in for some AoE damage, but at the same time, if there's some stuff you have to dodge, it's a little harder to dodge. But that's alright. So you can see where stuff is blowing up nicely. Make sure safeguard up. Just a little time up. Alright, need to move out of this little explosion. That wasn't too bad. Get the orbs. Move on to the next. Ah, good. More. Now we're getting to some good density. I like seeing that one. The speed pylon. Let's pick that up after this. You know, I haven't seen reflect damage doing a whole lot to me lately. I don't know if that's, I don't know how or why that is, but it just doesn't, it seems like sometimes reflect damage is something to worry about, other times it really isn't. I don't well, I'm really close to spawning the Rift Guardian, maybe I can just kill some. No, I'm not that close. Close, but I'm not close enough to use my, uh, use white mobs to do it. But, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm here. Got some bigger mobs in here, maybe they count for some percentage. And they do. So, which one we got? We got Iscandiel again. Gosh, I always seem to be getting him. Well, it's good for a video. He's one of the more difficult ones for me because that little wave of force he does pushes me out of the way, and my slow time makes it to where if I'm not careful, it's really, really annoying to get out of the way from him. He just sits there and kind of bulldozes me out of the way. But, he's taking good damage. He's got 520... Not a lot of HP. Okay. Need to keep my buff up here. Uh, see, I get pushed into the corner, and I need to teleport out. Lost my uh, explosive blast buff there. Move out of my way here. Oh, goodness. Right. Jeez. Let's see. Let's go behind him and it's that way. See, if I was better at anticipating him, I, I know he has a cast animation, I'm just not that fast. And I always seem to like, oh yeah, he's going to cast it right there. Oh no, that's a different cast animation for something else. <laughs> he's got a little 
triangle thing, trying to move that side of that. Yeah, get my explosive blast. Uh, go behind him. Can. Yep. Fill up my potion. He's almost dead. And there we go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Four minutes and 51 seconds remaining. And I almost died once, but that was mostly because I was being a little bit uh, cocky, I guess you could say. Oh, well, I got a wand, but it's that Starfire wand. Or whatever it's called. It sucks. I just wanted to ID a couple here for the video. Oh, that's, that's an ancient version of the belt I have. That's great. Oh, wow, and it's rolled max on 12 arcane power. That's a really good belt. Awesome. I got another Death Wish. I can just maybe... Yeah, it's for a different build. So, anyway, um, I'm running an Unstable Scepter that doesn't have ideal stats, and it's not ancient. Um, it needs area damage instead of that damage against the leads, but I just didn't get it that time. Uh, DMO set. Um, nothing more to say about that. Um, I have an Ancient Orb of Infinite Depth, but... Uh, uh, it's just not ideal stats. I need area damage on that. Um, Compass Rose, not bad. I mean, I, it could be a lot better. It could be Ancient. I need, instead of Vitality, I need a area damage or critical hit chance on there, whatever. Just talked about the belt. Delsert's Pants. Delsert's Pants. Uh, Convention of Elements doesn't have a very good legendary effect roll on this one. Only 163%. Could get area damage on that. Need area damage on gloves. Got area damage on shoulders. Not bad. Um, I have an okay helm. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't have a lot of ancient gear yet. Uh, pretty decent Traveler's Pledge. Very low roll on the uh, critical hit damage, though. But uh, Like I said, not even room for improvement. And then uh, Arcane skill damage on the Ancient Parthen Defender is not bad. And the max, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I got level 40 gems, level 40 Bane of the Trapped. 41 Bane of the Trapped, 41 Esoteric, and 41 Stricken. So, anyway, that's it.